Alrighty, alrighty guys, we are back, we are back, another day, another stream, another Football Manager 2019 live stream, uh, back again with Fiorentina, uh, we are in December, so we're approaching January, and this is where you get a point in the say where you might end up, you start to sell some players, through what happens during a season. That's the situation we're in right now. Vitor Hugo is sold. There's another situation with Federico Chiesa. It's going to be hard to keep him. There's a lot of clubs interested. If you take a look at those teams, and he, he yeah, he's going to struggle to stay. So we want to get big, big money for him. Because if we go to, yeah, offer a contract, I already tried that already myself. Uh, but yeah, we there was more. There was all these different promises he wanted and he wanted to allow like the use the club as a stepping stone so we had to like have a release clause that I wasn't happy with and that kind of stuff so so yeah <laughs> let's get going though Uh, what's that? You came before the Twitch notification. I know you're going live and you post a stream on YouTube. Ah, uh, yeah, th that's it. That's why I want to get the idea. Because, uh, yeah, I thought the upload... I think it was a good idea to upload the series on YouTube. Uh, then I don't, I don't have to make a video saying I'm streaming as well. And those videos, yeah, I delete most of the time when I just said I'm streaming. So anyway, more importantly, I want to have my streams documented on YouTube long term as well. I want to have my streams documented. And because I am because I am impatient, I was going to save it until we score a goal. Uh, but I know uh, actually the way it turned out, the, the text on the goal for the emote doesn't look that big. It's more so like the Fiorentina badge. But it's it, regardless, it's in, and I've got. I've. Uh, I wonder if you like this one. I can't show it right now, but it's a R.I.P. one, like rest in peace. If something really bad happens in the stream, if we concede a late goal, get a bad injury, something like, because it can cover R.I.P. That can cover a lot of bad things. Let me know what you think about that. Uh, yeah, so I've just got to upload it. It'll be pending probably for a couple of days again, but I reckon that was a pretty good idea for one. <laughs> Let me know what you think. Yeah, I thought it was though. But yeah, it's okay for now. I just wanted, I just wanted to have, <laughs> I wanted to have emotes again. Something people can hopefully subscribe for. I was thinking to myself, um, like just before I started streaming, like if you guys give me ideas, what, yeah, what else can I do for people to subscribe? Because I'd love to, yeah, get the subscribers back up there and, you know, because oh, I love doing, like honestly right now, you might notice with how regular I'm streaming, like, I'd love to do this full-time over YouTube, you know, like, yeah, I, lo I love streaming, it's so fun, uh, to interact with you guys, so, uh, Rubinho, hi, what's going on, what is going on, uh, sorry I didn't stream yesterday, though, I feel like I need breaks, if I stream every single day, I might burn myself out, especially, again, I s I'm, I'm still working on a video, yeah, yeah, gotta pay the bills, and YouTube videos aren't going so well anyway, so, who knows how things are gonna end, <laughs> but I'd love to start, yeah, you know, picking up, doing doing well on, on Twitch, you know. I'd love to get partnered, but I need to get my average views. I forgot what it was, it was like 70-something, so regardless, we need to get that up. But either way, not to focus on it so much, that's just kind of the reality of the situation, though. Because um, I've been around, uh, Marisic, yeah, Marisic, he's signed up more importantly now. But yeah, I was going to say, I've just been in this like community of creating football manager content for a really long time, you know, so it's not like I'm like a new YouTuber or streamer coming up. I've been in, yeah, I've been doing this for a while now, you know, so yeah, let's get going though. We had a couple tough games in a row. We did have a couple tough games. Uh, Inter and Roma struggled to get a win. From those ones, but yeah, our results have been all right. 
our results have been all right. If we, again, take a look at the Serie A, uh, I'm happy this position, but I'd love to, uh, yeah, I reckon title, going for the title may be hard at this point now, but I think I really want to go for at least fourth <laughs> at a minimum. Get Champions League. Get Champions League football for the upcoming, the following season. For the following season will be amazing. Oh, guys, Napoli kill Juventus, though. A good... Guys, we're only... We're the second... Oh, where are we? Uh, looking at the... I was looking at the goals against. Yeah, at least around these top teams, we've conceded the, the second most. That's what I was comparing like with Roma. The top four are very defensive. So I was going to... Like, obviously, something that's there. Serie A is a... Def uh, well, normally the best... Like, defensive teams. They, they are defensive teams. You know, the Serie A. Serie A is known for having good defensive sides. Now, we're not exactly playing that football, but hey, Royster, what's going on? What is going on? Thank you for joining. Thank you for joining the stream. Thank you for joining the stream. So, yeah. Serie A sides are known genuinely for being pretty defensive and the successful, yeah, especially even the successful sides have been, have been of that like. Well, hey, if you see, <laughs> if you see Napoli, if you see Napoli right now, they're killing in this save. They're doing really, really well. Again, funnily enough, defensively, uh, with the, def well, yeah, they've only scored 23, they've only scored 23, they're still doing, yeah, second, so, actually, they're lacking goals, they're lacking goals, you would say they could probably score more, so, yeah, Ancelotti, but a lot down, a lot down to their players as well, but, Anyway, let's see the upcoming games we've got. We've got Palmer. We've got Palmer at home. Palmer and Lazio. So again, we check out the table. Palmer, guys, Palmer is bottom. We should, five days away, we have a big win. And in anticipation, in anticipation here, let's check, let's go training style. Balance is recommended, but I don't think so. We'll go on attack and even tactics. Let's switch this up. Oh, we got two suspensions. Well, luckily, maybe we have an easy, easier game. Let's try and go back to the attacking mentality. We'll worry about the selection when we get closer. But, yeah, and then where tactical is, we'll do attacking movement. So we can, yeah, I think we can have a really attacking game. Even if we may not have our best selection. Well, we might take them out now. Might as well. Gerson and Benassi suspended. So if we take Gerson out... Take, see the options. We'll bring in Veritu. Happy with him. Happy with him. Maybe Mazala. So we can switch. Switch right then. Who's the other central mid? Who's the other central mid we'll bring on? That's what we got to see. And we'll just take off Gerson there. Because we got Darbo. Fernandez is a guy I haven't really used so much. He's got good stamina. Maybe give him a chance. Fernandez. Now, where would he like to play? Box to box midfield. Okay, interesting mix of those there. That it could work. It could work, I reckon. So yeah, we've got that set up now. So five days away. Five days away. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of in a mood for a pretty big stream uh, today, guys, or uh, tonight for me. I'm not too, yeah, not too, not too tired. If you guys want to know what the time is for me, it's almost 11.30 p.m., 11.30 p.m., but um, yeah, I'm feeling good. So what did you say, Rubinho? Deep line playmaker plus box-to-box -box midfielder plus Mazala, you, the Mazala on attack. 
Just it seems more preferred on support, but we'll do attack. Uh, if you guys have a suggestion there, if you think that's a good idea, Veritu. I mean, yeah, he can get forward score. He's like finishing his thirteen. Not not too bad. He's an all right player. His attributes pretty balanced. So yeah, it will be interesting. We'll be interested to see how he goes. We'll we'll just have to. We'll just have to see. But really, against Palmer, like we should be... We're at home against a team that's f bottom of the league. Bottom of the league. For me, man, we should be doing... We should be getting a big win. And yeah, we'll get an idea. For sure. Okay. So yeah, guys, what would you, what would you, what would you lads be looking for with our finish this season? Or what do you want versus what you think is going to happen? What do you think is going to happen? Answer that first. Or, or you can answer in, in, in the comment in the chat. What you think what will happen or and what you want to happen. You could say you want us to win the league or maybe that's too unrealistic. You want us to finish top four, but you might think we'll get fifth or sixth and get Europa League. So let me know those two. What you think and what you want. Or th those two could be two of the same. <laughs> let me know. If that's not too of an in-depth of a question. Or you can just answer w answer one of them. <laughs> Regardless. You hope fourth or fifth. Like, yeah. I'll be... M with me, like, I want to get Champions League. I want to get Champions League. Of course, you always want to win the league, but you got to be a bit realistic about it, how the season's going, like eight points from top. I think we're going to get a third or a fourth as well. Europa League finish it. Yeah. Because, I mean, I'm pretty happy with our performance, like at our best. I think, yeah, come the end of the season, because we've played a good amount of matches so far. Look, 16 matches played, so you get a general idea how we're doing. So, I think, yeah, it could be very tight. I reckon from, like, how it is right now, like, Lazio, Juve, like, from third to sixth, if it stays that way, pretty tight. Because getting Champions League will be really, really big for multiple reasons, I think. Well, yeah, we will for sure. Getting Champions League over Europa League. But anyway, and we want also, we want AC Milan to still continue doing poorly. Oh, but they win. AC Milan is starting to push up, actually. They should have some good recent form. Yeah, guys, look at this. Look at the switch up. Look how they started. AC Milan lost the first four games of the season. And now they're on a bit of a fancy run, aren't they? They're hitting some good form in the Europa League. And then also, yeah, Serie A as well. So they're finally, they're finally getting things going. So... Yeah, off their recent form, we shouldn't be thinking they'll lose games. Their, their recent form now is really, really good. So, <laughs> they'll probably start uh, yeah, not losing too many. Not losing too many at this point. I reckon Gattuso, he would have been under under pressure. But wouldn't it be interesting? I don't think so. I don't think he would have got sacked. Yet. He's trying to fight to keep his job. Where are we? Yeah, he's still there. He's still there. Just. And he's on good form right now. So, it would have made sense if they replaced him. And then they're doing well. But, uh, but yeah. That's the way it is. And we should be... Ooh, and I hope we'll get a good win as well. That will boost the goal difference a bit. Uh, what's that? How many hours do you have on the FM games? Ooh. I don't have... See, I've just got my recording on Football Manager. Like, I don't have, like, the like Steam selected to record. And I remember mentioning it once before as well. I, I, I can go on it, but I, I'd have to change something up to show it. <laughs> uh, anyway, 
I can let uh, I can check it out though. But yeah, I remember someone asking the same last time. Uh, FM12, a bit of a story behind this. A bit of a story behind this. Uh, I got back into making or well, well, playing football manager, uh, playing football manager. Then I made football manager videos in 2012. So when I started, so yeah, uh, only 313 hours on FM12, but then FM13, 839. FM, guys, this is where I really stepped up, I suppose. FM 14, 2,378 hours. Uh, and then FM 15, 2,241 hours. Maybe some of you guys that are older fans of me, would you agree when, that was when I was in my prime for my FM content? 2004, 2015. So, yeah. Uh, then 2016, I just had 668 hours. 2017, 554 FM 2018 got back up there a little bit, 1,132 hours. That sounds right, yeah, 1,132. And FM19 so far, 603 hours. So I reckon I'll push to that over a thousand again. <laughs> Definitely with streams. I think streams will push that up. But yeah, I've always been a heavy player. Uh, what I would want to know, but unfortunately it wouldn't, yeah, because didn't have Steam back then. In Football Manager 2008. Football Manager 2008, I played ridiculous amount. I, because I, I played over a few years, and I had a slow computer back then. <laughs> oh boy, I've I, I can only guess. I, they're probably like three hour, the th three, yeah, three, three thousand, three thousand, four thousand hours, if not more. I played that ridiculously long crazy like i said over a few years and almost like every weekend every weekend i'll play hours upon hours well, guys look at his death stare <laughs> look at that he doesn't look happy at all heads up about darbo Ooh, maybe do i play him do i just say Do I play him more? I'll just say Gerson's in great form. Okay, I'll say, yeah. So take a look at his attributes. Hmm. It's hard to... If you take a look here, yeah, he, he and Fernandez very very similar. Very similar types of players. So what do you do? Fernandez hasn't begged for the playing time yet. And he has. So do we make that change? Just to keep him happy? Because I think... I do think their outputs... Their output will be similar. Alright. Oh, okay. And again, sorry guys, if my camera went a bit brighter, I clicked on... <laughs> I was just checking on YouTube for a second. Uh... Like I said, I need to download like a <laughs> a dark skin <laughs> for the for my internet browser as well. Uh. YouTube has dark mode, doesn't it? There's a dark mode for YouTube. Yeah, everything, all like all graphic stuff I've downloaded for free. I haven't paid for any graphic stuff. I've got a lot of it from Sorted Out Sci website. Sortedoutsci.net or sortedoutsi.net. They're a pretty good source for all your graphic needs. Even though there's yeah, there's quite a few websites out there. FM fan sites. There it is. Cheers, Ben Caldino, for that. Hey, that makes me really happy. <laughs> I've said it before, but when I see like a comment in the chat, I like to just take a photo of it. Uh, from Rubinho there, really like the streams. You are my favorite. That that makes me happy. Thank you. <laughs> 
And yes, FM Scout as well. FM Scout is generally where I go to get skins. And yeah, I think in terms of downloading, I, I might just check it every so often, just a website to look at and just browse any new things. But yeah. Also, if you need help with your tactics, FM Base, FM Base is a really good one as well. Uh, they have a good tactics section. For you guys that maybe struggle with tactics, there's a section to download tactics, but you get, like, people provide a lot of tips as well. There's, there's so much, yeah, fan sites out there. Plenty to utilize. And guys, we didn't, yeah, mention it too much. Like, we, I just went the th process of accepting it. But we signed Dario Marisic. I'm so excited to use him. He's going to be such a good ball-playing defender. Again, you go to his report, you can see his role suitability, his best ball-playing defender. He says he's currently operating at Serie B. Like, no, he's, to me, he's still a Serie A defender. Like, look at his strong attributes. I know some of the mentals are a bit lower. He's going to get that as he gets older, naturally, for sure. But, whew, I love his technical ability, especially that passing. And he's not slow as well. I really like him. Hopefully you guys rate that signing. But um, this guy, we've got a few players ineligible for this one. And I'm not going to bother about seeing if there's under in, any like under 20s or whatever. So we just deselect a few of those. It's still enough. It's still enough for the bench. Uh, Fernand, oh yeah, we'll bring in Darbo, like I said, because he was requesting to play ahead of Fernandez. <laughs> like I said, he's a similar play, he plays box-to-box -box midfielder. So going forward next season, maybe we just keep one of them. So who would you sell out of him? Like, who's the younger one? Darbo is 26. Oh, well, wait, Fernandez, no. Fernandez is on loan from West Ham. Sorry, I'm too just focused on the, on the players. Uh, so, n we won't need to worry. We've got quite a few loans, actually. Yeah, we've got quite a few players on loan. So, use player instructions. You want to take a look at the, like, specific... Well, you can see what I have. Uh, we've got different instructions for players and all of that. So, as you can see, uh, we, have, we have got a bit of that. Haven't got too, gone too in-depth. You click on the player instruction, so, yeah, we got this, like, to mar specific marking and all that, but, yeah, we're gonna get into the game, guys, we're gonna get into the game, make sure you leave your predictions, predictions, we're playing bottom of the league, Palmer, they're bottom of the league, so, yeah, let's, let's get cracking into this one now, you want to get a good win, we want to get a good win, so, and yeah, hopefully we get that morale boosting, morale boosting win as well would be nice. There we go. Interesting, interesting formation. They got Jovino. Jovino is still one to be yeah a bit careful of. So the media has given you a lot of praise recently. That does really, really well. Again, there's Chiesa, seem motivated, look to gain confidence, confidence in Brian Darbo. Uh, Mohamed Elneny is motivated, seem motivated, and yeah, Biragi, look to gain confidence out of those ones you can't see. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's, again, probably one of the important things you can't see with my webcam, but that's what you get with Football Manager. There's always important things to see. <laughs> oh, here. Oh, Dabo. Ooh, that would have shown as a good selection, guys. See, we started pretty well. I like what we're doing at the moment. Biragi. Oh, my God. Oh, Kiesa. I guess it was blocked. I guess it was blocked. So, it wasn't just a miss. Now, Kiesa. Ooh. Not quite. So we're suggested to play a bit more direct. It's still very early in the game, and we've had chances. So, oh, close to intercepting. Almost. Here we go. Force him back. Gagliolo. Pizzala. Oh, Chiesa, you got to be careful. You're on a yellow. Ah! Uh, uh, 
What I say doesn't do it. Far man, that's too early. How did he give? Oh, I ruined it. It ruined. Oh, guys, this is not good. We're gonna push up Al Nenny. Really? Our best player. Two. Oh, it's like I didn't get time to like. That highlight didn't even get to end for me to do something with Kiesa, like tell him to calm down. Happened too quickly. I don't even know what to do now. We just got a red card. That was pretty big. Oh, boy. So we've got a less man. Oh, no. Don't do another. I'm, I'm ready to go crazy, actually. You'll see me go crazy if we get another sending off. But equally... Calm down, I'll just say for everyone. <laughs> ah, too many cards. And this is not something you see regularly from us. So it's not something to fix. It's just one of these games. That's what I hate. It's not something to rectify. So we far from pleased. Why are you disinterested? I'm disinterested in your performance, honestly. Disinterested after feedback, we want to see better. Yeah, we may, yeah, we're probably not going to have one of those big scoring games now. We're going to have to sneak a result. And man, even scoring one goal might be tough without our star man in, yeah, Kiesa. Oh, come on. Yeah, send another, send another one off, mate. See, it's, guys, is it the ref? Does this ref like to hand out cards? Who knows? Who knows? See, it's not always... It's Yeah, it's not like your style of play or something. Sometimes the ref can like to hand them out. And Veritu, honestly, he hasn't done too much. Let's bring on Fernandez. See? See, he's this... Yeah, we'll just leave him there... It's the, surely it's the ref. What do you guys think? If there's, yeah, two sending offs, something there. So maybe let's play a bit more direct, a bit more direct, be more expressive. See how we go. Makes me a bit more happy that they got a sending off as well. Yeah, like I said, trigger happy with the, with the cards. Oh, good, Tassie. Clean. Clean tackle, Muriel, 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 oh, clean finish, clean finish, there we go. Like that, Larini, who's had a very nice season, that's what we love, the long balls, maybe we should play more of those, post a short passing. Muriel, six goal of the season, six goal there. Tactical changes, yeah, I still make the changes we did. One nil. So it may be that one nil in the end. Yeah, let's take a look. Maybe Marco Piazza for Morales. And bring Morales on that side. Also, Morales can drop back. Yeah, he can play an inverted winger there. Very nice. Oh, what's the best coaching attributes? Well,. It depends if you're looking to train a certain... Like, if you have a certain weakness, do you have a certain weakness in your team? If you want to look for attacking or defending or technical coaching. If you have a weakness, you try and yeah, get a replacement there. Oh, I was going to say, who's this guy? He's got a bit of a big name. Yeah, young guy. Just clicks. On loan from Atletico Madrid. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I remember his name. It clicked something in my brain there to scout him. Now let's finish him. Yes, here we go. Now it's Fernandez. Okay, decent. Decent shot. Biragi. Now Morales put it in. You missed that. Alneni. To Lorini. Okay. 1 0. 
Can we finish them? There could be. There could be a goal. Happy to get a clean sheet. But let's see. Mirales. Dangerous ball. Hopefully. Oh, don't stuff this up. No, man. Don't just shit yourself when that happens. You just don't want the keeper. Don't want defenders to make an error. Oh, boy. Can we finish them off now, maybe? Oh, it's probably, yeah, just going to end end like that, is it? 1-0? It does end like that. 1-0. 1-0, guys. Happy. Happy enough with the performance. It was a bit of a crazy game, I'd say. Bit of a crazy game. Well done, lads. Well done. Good performance. All delighted. Delighted or extremely de delighted from the players' reactions. Every single player. So that was good. Oh, what's that Man United career? Oh, I'm working on a road to glory. I'm working on a road to glory. You might see it start on the weekends, but yeah, it's a bit, not like a normal series. It's, we do a lot in like the first episode, but yeah, Road to Glory, where things happen quick and not slowly. Yeah, I'll keep trying different things. <laughs> That's all we can do. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying recording it at the moment. I'm enjoying recording it. All right, where's our next match? Who we got? Is that Lazio? Where are they situated? Oh, third guys, we got a big game. We got a big game against Lazio coming up. So, 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 so. Take a look what we've got. Yeah, there's just a few. It's physical ball retention. I'm going to not do physical, because physical increases injury risk and fatigue. So let's just have a defensive shape we'll work on. So yeah, in that short period of time, we won't have... Yeah, that physical training might be a little bit much. So maybe that's a little tip for me. If you see that, yeah, don't work on the physical. When you rest and you got a game. So, ooh, Veritu, he's going to be, yeah, suspended for the next match. That's not ideal. But we got Benassi to come back in, yeah? Benassi and Gerson, so we'll be right. Yeah, Veritu. Gerson, how about we switch? We play Gerson, no. Gerson, will go personalize so we can have him that advanced playmaker. Do that for him. But Chiesa suspended. Disappointed in this big game. We'll bring on Morales on that side. At least disappointed. Chiesa won't play a part. Then Benassi. Benassi, Benassi will go ahead of Darbo. And then he'll go box to box mid. There we go. I like that mix. Just add a few of these players. See, if we take a look, Brian Darbo is Torino interested, Leicester, so you can get a gauge of the kind of teams. Uh, Simeone will be back, oh, six days, two weeks, yeah, he'll probably be left out still. Uh, but see how the rest of the team recovers uh, over the next few days, over the next few days. Okay. Who's this guy? Ricardo Sotil. He's on loan somewhere anyway. Got a bit of an injury.
Okay, yeah, guys, we've got Lazio. Lazio, Lazio is a big game. Lafont, of course, yeah, he's going to have such pure development because he's a starting goalkeeper, wonder kid, yep. No reason why he shouldn't get his absolute best, or get to his absolute best in this save. We should get him there. For sure. Who's this? Lorenzo Pellegrini, guys. He's got a bit of a release clause in him. 27 mil. Guys, is is this something you've noted in a save before? Lorenzo Pellegrini. And he's having an alright season. Is it? Okay. He's actually not being played much anyway. But that's below his value. 27 mil for Lorenzo Pellegrini. Is that good value or what, guys? He's fairly susceptible to injuries. Something had to ruin it, hey? In being injury prone. But he's a leading Serie A midfielder. So, guys. What do we do? Well, we don't... It's not like we have the money right now. It would, it would cost a bit of... Uh, money, but yeah, when we get the budget for next season, could he be someone we consider? If you want to join, if you want to join at that point as well. So, Lewis Muriel, fair enough, he did score. Yeah, guys, each week, each week the formation has been without wingers, so that's something interesting to note. Uh, because Federico Chiesa, I'm pretty sure he's never been in it. He's never been in the team for some reason. He's been amazing this season. He's had pl player of the week. He's had player of the week when he never gets, and he never gets that. So yeah, who knows? Who knows the reason? The reason behind that. But we've got this Lazio game. We've got this Lazio game now, which is super important. We can catch up closer to them. But if they beat us, we have a bad result. They get some separation. So we don't want that. We want to get a big win. Let me know in the comments. Let me know in the chat, guys, what you think we'll get. What's the prediction? What's the prediction of this match? Still think this is a pretty strong side for us. Let's drop back to balance, though, in this one. Yeah, so, yeah, get your predictions. Get your predictions for this match in. It is, like I said, it is a huge one. It is quite the huge game of importance. So, assertively... I'm going to say passionately. Yeah, the media has given us a lot of credit. That just seems to do so well. Every player is seen motivated, apart from Pazala, Biragi, and El Neni, just so you know. Every single other player. So, majority of the players reacted well to that. We want to get a win, though. Come on, mate. Come on. Let's go. You want to get a big win against Lazio. Let's say throw in Biragi. Al Neni. At our absolute best, I believe we can, for sure. Larini gets forward. Benassi. Now Morales. Come on. We need our best players at their best. <laughs> Here we go. Gerson. Mir oh, look at that. Look at that. Had to finish. Had to finish on the rebound. Marco Piazza. Seventh goal of the season. Maybe you might see it as a bit of a tapping, but that chance, that team play, for me, that had to be a goal. Lovely team play. Good save, Strakosha, but directly to the path of Marco Piazza for his seventh goal of the season, guys. What a way to start this game as we move up into fourth there. Come on, can we get another? Go short to Piazza. <laughs> Getting a bit excited. Come on, pressure them. Don't let them counter us. I hate getting excited when you have a corner. F 
Oh, lucky. I always... I let my guard down. I always think, oh, this could be a chance for us. Always let my guard down and get disappointed if they score. Oh, LaFont. He did well in that play, LaFont. Prevents a goal, even though they have another chance. We're, yeah, we're going to clear that. We do clear that right there. So we're still fourth. We are still fourth, sitting pretty good. But, yeah, other teams have to play their game, yeah. But, hey, we want to focus on getting the win. First and foremost. Oh, don't let him in. Don't let... Oh, oh, oh. Didn't even need a save. They blazed that. Oh, boy. Well, guys, how about that half? What do you guys think of that half? Was that a decent half? How about it? Look at the possession. We've got the possession in this one. Uh, so, got to say, don't get complacent. Yes. Everyone, either motivated or gain focus, uh, apart from uh, Cristiano Baraghi there. Cristiano Baraghi. So, that, guys, we get a really amazing reaction there. Did so well. So, yeah, Muriel booked. Okay. Do we take him off? We don't... Ah, oh, yeah. How far away... Just the, so we know. Yeah, Simeone is almost back. Four to nine days. So, he's close. He's close. I'm just wondering. I'm just wondering about our change now. Or do we keep going? When's our next game? Take a look at the fixtures. Yeah, okay, that's against SPAL. SPL. SPAL, sorry. 2013. So, I don't know. Baragi goes to Muriel. Benassi, we need another goal. We need another goal, Morales. Now, El Neni. You think El Neni's finding a good position defensive midfield? I think we're a bit more balanced with him there. Biragi, come on. Oh, no, Mur oh, I wanted to take him off. I wanted to take him off. Because oh, I know he was on a yellow. Guys... I just, we got two sending offs in a row. Oh boy. Gerson's had a good, oh, Al Nenny. I've just been saying how good Al Nenny has been. To bring on Darbo defensive midfield. 72% condition. Yeah, Darbo, there's quite a few different positions here. How do we play him half back? Uh, what are we gonna do, guys? What are we gonna do? Piazza's been good, and Morales still has got condition in him. So the good thing is, it's a striker. It, oh, we don't really need to go more defensive as such. Yeah. What are we going to do? What sub? Biragi, 69%. But I'm um, doubtful to bring him off, you know. Who would... I'm just thinking who's going to be a good change for us here. That's going to strengthen us up. I'm really not sure. Is it always best to make a sub? Because, yeah, right now I'm not feeling it. The right change. We'll just say tighten up. Yeah. Gerson. Um, 
Yeah, what are we doing? Gotta be careful. Oh no. What is this? That's a fr that's not a penalty. That's a free kick, surely, yeah? That wasn't in the box. It's on the replay. What's this? No, it's not a penalty. Fuck. Don't make us lose our result. Oh, please, miss. Miss. Fucking. Fuck. You ref. I don't know. The trigger's so bad, man. Really? Come on, get him back! Fucking hell. Really? Red card and a penalty? I don't even know. You can go very attacking late. Why don't you give him another one, maybe? Make us lose the game, I dare you! I dare you, make us lose it! And see what happens. See what happens. Fucking make us lose the game, why don't you? Fuck. They go close to it. They go close. That's close, I'll tell you what. And that should be it. That should be... Steal a win! Take it right out of our grasp by giving him a penalty. Just give him a penalty like that, why don't you? Aggressively. Terrible. I'll just say I have nothing to mention you. <laughs> I am not happy. I am not happy, guys. If you if you cannot tell. <laughs> if you can't tell. So where are we? Yeah, seeing those those games against the better teams in the league, that's gonna hold us back, I reckon. That's gonna hold us back if we don't finish top four for a Champions League finish. Yes, I feel you always have to be much better to get a result. If it's like in, does anyone feel this? I've said it a few times in the past. When the games are even. More often than not, your opponent will get... Or it's hard to win it. Either you get a draw or lose. When the game is very even. So, yeah. It's rare you'll win. Or more often than not, you won't get the three points. When the, when it's an even game. It doesn't help. That's what I mean. You get red cards. You get penalties. Pfft. Well, you you give away penalties more correctly. Uh, look, Inter drop points there as well. So, who knows? Next up, though, so where is Spal? Spal, 18th. Come on, we've got to beat them. Guys, come on. We have got to beat them. Just got the attacking patient there. Uh, we need... You need you need your match preparation, though. Of course, we have the recovery. But... Yeah, important. Then tactically, we'll refer back to... Let's do positive <laughs> in between, yeah? We'll go positive. See, look at this. Lorini suspended. We're going to have to play Darbo. He's the only other one at right back, yeah? I'm telling you now. Wow. Chiesa, he's going to start ahead of Morales. Muriel suspended. Simeone, he's going to have to come in and start. Guys, I want to still try him as a false nine. Still want to try him there, guys. Again, if we go to the training, that's where we've got him on there. False nine. If you see the attributes. Well, actually, I'll take off shooting so you get an idea. Yeah, which ones. And we'll put that back. 
But anyway, anyway, we'll leave that. Simeon, he should be, it's four to nine days. That's the, he's not even 100% back yet. We don't have a good enough striker. That's the pro. How about Morales? Or do you play Kevin Morales striker, guys? Do we play Kev Morales striker? And just how about try him false nine? See his attributes. Oh, I want to see. Yeah, don't worry about it. Let's continue. Let's continue. So, Juve Torino. Well, Torino's even in seventh himself. A draw might be nice here. Ah, uh, Juve sneak a win. Well, Torino, yeah, they just got a late goal anyway. Interesting. Interesting, because now we're over. We're four points. We're four points from top four, so we don't want a gap to start being made, and honestly, it is right now, so we definitely need the win right now, guys. We need, we need the three points, but it makes it, makes it tough. We're going to have Dario Marisic joining very, very shortly, uh, but still Pazala and Milinkovic, they're the best, they're the best in the team, so... Okay, this guy's coming along pretty nicely. Uh, his potential's all right, but yeah, probably not super. This guy, how is he? He's listed for loan. Do we get him for a loan, attacking mid? Maybe we can try and fit an attacking mid into the team. Into the tactic. Available for loan? We're, we have to wait. <laughs> we have to wait, but he is. He is available for a loan. Guys, there's something I want to check. Doing that, though. Oh, we got a lot of these. Might have to... Yeah, clear. Where are we? Clear. There we go. Contract status. Well, we'll have to change it soon. But we'll do one year. We'll do one year to see whose contracts, like you see Alberto Moreno, he's transfer listed. He's a transfer, will we need like, oh, he's like more natural left wing back. But yeah, anyway, what do you say you wanted to bid? We should bid. Because his value is cheap, yeah? Where are we? Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, like he's really, really. You, so you think he should be like an actual signing, like like signing for real? You think he's that good for like a wonder kid? Well, he's twenty one now. So, how's his performance been? In the league, has been all right. Europa League been weak, but of course, doesn't mean he's bad. He's got flair, tries killer balls, but yeah, it would mean I'd want to fit him into his. It would change our formation up a little bit. I reckon to add an attacking to add an attacking mid, well not chat. Um, yeah, we'll just have to figure out how we're going to sort the three in midfield. Maybe for when we go really attacking, drop defensive mid. So, 
How about if we do... I know it's a bit lower. Let's go 500k. And what else do we... Percentage of next sale. Just remove and exclude. Percentage of profit from next sale. Remove and exclude. That's all I'll do out of those, yeah. Suggest terms. Okay. Let's try 600k then. 500k, not quite. 600k. This is something I was going to ask. In this terms of Twitch, uh, someone like type the exclamation part, uh, excl excl exclamation, uh, that word, man, exclamation mark and skin. What does that trigger when people do an exclamation mark and a word? What does, what does that do? <laughs> Please let me know. I'm a noob in terms of Twitch, in terms of that. Let me know, because I don't utilize that so much or something. Anyway, 600, 600, okay, we'll just keep going up by 100k, yeah, 700, not quite, maybe that 800, maybe that 800 will get accepted, wait, look at our budget for a second, guys, yeah, uh, it might be, it might have to be 900, Yeah. I just mean normally if someone if someone does that, what what is it supposed to do? I know yeah, you put the link I know, but if someone does exclamation mark and skin, does it supposed to trigger something automatically? Let me know. Or is that try you have to get the bot set up again. Ugh, I, I hate that it's like so too much to worry about and change and because I'm sure you have to put in some settings or something <laughs> anyway let's try 200k up front and then yeah the longest installments as possible what are we gonna do here Anyway, anyway, if we go 200k up front, 600k, wait, did I just 800k offered? So how about we go 250, 250 up front, then 650 there. What do you guys, what do you guys think about that? We can't negotiate this really further now. That's 300k up front, 600k in installments. Yeah, yeah, I've seen those, yeah, when people do the exclamation and say something. So, it's just I need to get that set up again. Because I deleted it last time, the, the bot, because, uh, what was it? Like, people were blocked from doing links. So, anyway... Let's accept that. That's a good deal, you reckon? What do you guys think about that? That probably... Because don't forget, with Marisic joining as well, that's probably going to keep us for January. You know, uh, you can see what our budget is like. It's nothing... Yeah, our budget is nothing too insane. So with what we've got to spend, that's not too bad. We've just got to offer him the contract now. So normally just go view offer, see in this... Do him as a hot prospect. Next he'll, yeah, he'll come on the third. Hell, do we try and get him long as possible in his contract? Or do we do a, suggest the offer first? But, th yeah, then try and get maximum. Try and get maximum. He still won't want too much wages, which is good. That wage offer was pretty low, actually. But then higher amount when he's played more games. But to me, that will happen. But can I give him four years then? Okay. Signing on fee. Drop 6k. Agent fee. Still drop a bit. 100k. I feel we need to increase the wage a bit. 8k. And then here. Maybe try and... 
Guys, I've got a bit of a strategy. I'm not sure if it's going to work. If we up what this wage is going to be to 10k and keep that 11 and then drop this one over 25 games to 13. So what he's going to have at some point is not going to be as much as he wanted. <laughs> if that makes sense. Uh, goal bonus as well. Let's give him a bit. 8k maybe. I'm just trying to balance this in a certain way. And I wonder if it'll go through. Team of the year bonus as well. 800k. So a bit of bit of a fee there if he gets that. Uh, and just score five goals. if you, That's not too much. Still for a pretty attacking player. 700k. Ooh, but that's very... Uh, I was going to say close to working. Do we just give in and give him what he likes? Maybe just try and lower this a bit then. Maybe, yeah, uh, give him two... Give him the length he wants. Be hard... Maybe if we up that to 10 goals then, that could be realistic of going through and 800. Because, yeah, I was going to say, five goals, he probably will. Yeah, I don't like yearly wage rises, to be honest. For me, uh, thanks Aiden for the follow. I didn't get a notification for that, and the, um, the noise, <laughs> the sound notification. What I'm, guys, what I'm thinking is try and up his wage. What is, what is that? Because it's going to be... It's going to increase to either one of those. Increase his goal bonus a bit as well. 16. <laughs> you can kind of sense if it doesn't get accepted, I'm going to get a bit mad. <laughs> well, I mean... Come on. This is not this is not a bad offer. Maybe up that to 24k. How about this goes 13 and... I just don't want to reject it. How much does that have to go up by? 14 and a half. Okay. Maybe up the agent to 300 and sign him fee 210. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I really, I really wanted to get him. So, and overall, as a whole, it isn't, isn't a completely crazy deal. Because I know people are always going to... Uh, that's why I hate... Ne like, in videos, when I'd record YouTube videos, I'd edit out when I'd negotiate contracts because people were like, oh, you offered too much. Or when they ca don't go through, you offered, you didn't offer enough. And I found it just like... it's It'll be something people complain about. It's like, you could have done better, but it's, it's so hard because you don't want to risk not getting him. You don't want to risk not getting him, so... What can I do? <laughs> like I said, <laughs> uh, when I'd make videos, I'd not show it. Because <laughs> I knew in the comments someone will say something. Yeah, we got it accepted. The contract did accept. And like I said, um, or what I was thinking anyway, he'll get better. If, like, to me, it wasn't... It's not like we're paying him, like, crazy money or something like that. But, yeah, like I said, it's just... I think I think people have a certain amount they would offer, and if you don't offer that amount, it's either too much. <laughs> it's re That's one of the hardest things to get right, in my experience, with Football Manager content. <laughs> in Yeah, and streams and videos. Really hard to get <laughs> what people say, or what people think in their minds because they'll have their own opinions on what they would have offered but like I said it's nothing that's going to break break the bank it's not going to break the bank guys but I was thinking I was thinking something maybe not as extreme as a 24 hour stream because I can't stream 20 I need to sleep <laughs> I get too tired what would you guys think if I did like a 12 hour stream or something like that like a really long stream not now but plan to do that like 
whether it be over a weekend or something like that. Uh, what's this? Gory. Oh, he's not a bad player, actually. His contract's running out. He's what? Okay, we better so we better get offer him a new deal. Because he's, he's decent. Yeah? And again, we'll just offer him that. Simple. Maybe yearly wage drives drop out. Apart from that, just offer that in. No, he's going to want to wage drives. Maybe increase the goal bonus. 2.7k. He's, he accepts that. See, I don't think he'll be as good. I don't think he'll be the quality we want. What do you think for a striker, though? Hmm. He's got potential to be a Serie A player, but I think he's someone we want to keep and develop up, whether it be we loan him out, keep him on the under-20s, train him, and then eventually sell him. So these are the play Guys! Callum Gribben? But his report doesn't look good. Guys, we can approach the sign, Callum... But he looks very weak. I don't know if people think he's like a Manchester United prospect or something like that. He's very weak physically and especially mentally. I'm unsure how he'd go in Italy as well. Hmm. And especially the facts we're going to have attacking mid young attacking midfielder. And how do you pronounce this guy's name? Or can I I feel like I'm just going to call him Bruno. I'm just going to call him Bruno. Let me know how you pronounce that. Uh, or I'll just search it after the stream. But anyway, there's Dante Vermalen. He's probably going to want crazy wages though, because I mean he's on he's on 130k already. So for an experienced centre back, I don't know. There may be better options. Who's this Ranieri? Is sh with his potential as well, we should offer a defender. Offer him new contracts. Negotiate again. Again, without changing too much. Drop the 4k. Give him a high goal bonus as a defender. 20k, yeah. You probably think, ooh, 20k, that's high. But I'm not sure when he's actually going to play for us. So, sort by potential. Hmm. How about Pinto? How does he look? Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure what you think. If he's worth keeping these types. Because they they won't have Serie A potential, will they? No, see, this guy does. It depends on the player. But he is 21. I think if it says they have Serie A potential, it's worth... Wait. Offer new contracts. Just ask to suggest the offer. Oh, it looks a bit hefty, though, for a player we won't probably use. It looks a bit hefty of a contract. Yeah, maybe. Leave that for now. Marco Melli. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. Because those guys, they'll struggle to get into the team. To the first team. So, 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 are we going to... Yeah, we've got a game up. So, we'll focus on the game first, guys. And then we don't have one for... Oh, wait. We've got a break. We've got, like, two friendlies, guys. Because we got a little break. It's good to have that to keep the fitness. So, that's good, I suppose. But, anyway, any guys, Kiesa, 100. 100% condition. Got these couple guys ineligible. We got a few actually because they were playing for match fitness. We got that selected. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna play Morales. Morales striker. We'll see how that goes. Uh, doesn't matter. Let's. So, yeah. So we're not. We're not in the best position at the moment with players' fitness and all that. So, yeah, guys, get your predictions in. Get your predictions in for this one. We'll go passionately just with the meter again. That's, yeah, good reaction to majority of players. Let's just get into it.
Though, guys, right now it is... I, I was thinking uh, might do a long stream. I, I was thinking that, but at the same time, the, the tiredness hits me when it hits that midnight. It's past midnight now in Australia, so... Yeah. I wish more people came along from YouTube to watch the stream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'll motivate me. Mm, come on, we'll see what we do here. Cause how long have I been streaming now? Yeah, it's past an hour, so. Uh, get tired. Assertively, what are we gonna say? We haven't really done much in this game, to be honest. Let's see if we're going to do something. Come on, Milinkovic. Darbo. Gerson. Biragi. We're waiting for it. Darbo, Kiesa, is that, there was no foul, they don't give us penalties, oh no, oh, it, guys, he, he must have heard me, the ref must have heard me, now El Nenny, <sighs> oh, thought that was going to be saved, but it was too powerful, blasted that, really good, hey, Apathet apathetic schizoid <laughs> that's a name hey what's going on what's going on we get a goal so good mood now <laughs> oh good mood when we score guys so what are we gonna do do we because we got a week break don't we You don't like you don't like the false nine. Hey, we're we're leading. I guess it was a penalty, but still. Gets the wingers involved. The wing the wingers who have been dangerous for us. I wanted to experiment with it. I feel it suits our possession game. It suits our possession game. Uh, Marco Piazza. We don't really have wingers to bring on here. Very weak. Very, very weak at the moment. So, Veritu, he'll come on and play him Mezala. Mezala. Let's keep going. Hey, FM Gizmo, what's going on? What's going on? 10 minutes. 10 minutes. We're just holding on. Can we get... I want to see, yeah, I do want to see the false nine in play. So it shows you guys yeah, how we go. If you don't agree with it exactly. Oh, not too bad. Not too bad there. So let's just say tighten up at this point. The save's going all right. It's, I say we're, I'd probably say, yeah, we're expected with where we are. It's what you would expect. Uh, if we would just take a quick look, or you can see the table there. It's like, we're around that Europa League position. We'd love to be doing better, top four. I'd, I'd want to aim maybe for third or fourth, trying to be a bit realistic uh, for where we're going to finish, uh, to get Champions League. But yeah, it's probably where you see Fiorentina. Marco Piazza, we're struggling a bit now because, yeah, we've got a few of our players injured, suspensions, that kind of stuff going on at the moment. So I'm just wondering what we do now. If another... Yeah, because we've got about a week break. So maybe, maybe, maybe let's just try and play it out. Let's try and play this one out. And we do. We do. That should be all she wrote for this one. There we go. Good win. Good win. We keep a clean sheet there. How about it? They had no shots on target. We controlled the game. Doesn't look clearly dominant with a 1-0, but... I like the performance. 
I like the performance there. Defensively. Good to keep a clean sheet. Clean sheet there. But yeah, guys, I may not stream too much longer. I may not stream too much longer. Just because, yeah, it's late for me. Always always is the case. Always is this case with the times I'm streaming, you know. But it's good to get... Good to get a little bit, like, from an hour to 90 minute streams going. But it, like I said earlier, I'd love to try to do, like, a 12 hour stream and just plan that. But it'll have to be at a good time. It, it's hard, man. It's hard, man, with the time differences for me in Australia. Like, see, if it was during the day, if it was during the day for me, probably, but not many people that watch Football Manager. Like, during the day for me, there's, like, two or three people streaming. <laughs> and, like, yeah, with barely any viewers because they're, like, lower, like, small channels and that. And people just streaming for, yeah, for the sake of it, I suppose. But, yeah, it's not the most ideal time to stream. <laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying them, though. Hope you guys are enjoying the stream when I can. But that's the that's the last game. <laughs> well, for the year for the year in December because then with um, but also we got friendlies coming up during a little break we have got that little break so that's why there's friendlies during that period got the assistant to set those up uh we've got signings coming in though uh Dario Marisic Dario Marisic uh then we also made this attacking midfielder young attacking midfielder signing who I said again not sure on the pronunciation of his name so we're just going to call him Bruno just going to call him Bruno for now. <laughs> but he's a good, a good talent. We're, we're waiting. We're, yeah, we offered the contract and all of that. So you're just just waiting on that going through. Uh, Vitor Hugo is going to be departing. So that allowed that signing of Marisic, that centre-back. Bring in another centre-back. Five one Inter. Whew. Hmm. Look at Andrea Milani. Does it uh, still lowish <laughs> lowish potential? Who's that? Uh, Marilla. Is this him? Yeah, that uh, Groanly. Groanly. I've seen him. I've seen him before. Suggested and pretty sure would have searched. So, okay, he's pretty young. We can get him scouted. We can get him scouted, but yeah, as I said, uh, we're making a signing. A bit more young, but a bit more experienced. Yeah, Marilla. He just seems a bit... Oh, what's a... He could be... Yeah, he's good potential. Good potential who have in him. Can still can still improve. But yeah, it's good to see your uh, Benji enjoying the stream. Glad you're enjoying it. It's good to know. Good to know people in... I, I like when... Yeah, there's some people interactive with the chat, you know. Ugh, it's nice. So, Benassi. Oh, alright. What's his problem? Oh. Do you ever get not in the mood for certain parts of Football Manager? Maybe I'm just tired and that's the thing. Like, we contract. You know, just leave it. <laughs> uh, because he's contracted 2022. He probably wants, yeah, a bit more money. Fair enough. But I wouldn't say he's been insane for us but I feel he's been a good team player something that doesn't show in his like 
ratings, but he's the best pass completion for the season. So there's that. Uh, what else? Hmm. Might just continue because, yeah, we have a bit of a break with those friendlies. Right. Okay. So yeah, Marisic, Marisic will be joining very soon. Vitor Hugo actually leaves on the first. He leaves on the first there. Fuck. Oh, Kiesa, guys, it's worked. Guys, Federico Chiesa is now far more comfortable using his weaker foot. It was nice to see him develop that. Attempts to develop weaker foot. Guys, do you ever think that sounds weird as a preferred move? Attempts to develop weaker foot as a move? Is that really a move? Attempting to develop... I don't know, it just sounds weird for, as a preferred move to attempt to develop it. That just sounds like something in training you're doing. So, yeah. He's become better now. It's still left foot. What is it? What does it say for it? He's reasonable. Well, I thought it would sound a bit better than reasonable. <laughs> I don't know what you think. But Chiesa. Oh, how about that? He's named as FIFA Best Under-20 Men's Player. And that's the first award for that. So his name will go down in history as the first player ever to win that. So that's pretty cool. Uh, it's pretty cool to see that for one of our players. Do do do. Yeah, I was going to say that Gronly, he sounds very familiar. I was going to say for a second, he may not be in my save. Yeah, he's not in my save. Yeah, Gronly. Because I remember, I remember Search gave me another save. I had more leagues loaded, or I, then I loaded Norway to take a look at some, some players people were mentioning. Okay, guys, let's take a look. Alrighty. Vitor Hugo. <sighs> guys, I'm probably going to have to end the stream now. I'm pretty tired. Pretty tired. Getting close to 1am in the morning. 
Oh, okay. So there he goes. He's doing all right. It's interesting. He's got like decent potential. No, I never really use Discord. Yeah, I haven't. I think I may have gone on it like a couple times, but not regularly. Like it's not like part of my regular usage day to day. You know. I know there's a lot of people like that do YouTube videos and streams and stuff. They have it. And like to interact and they have it like as a, as a thing, but yeah, it's hard to, yeah, it's, it'll be, an, it just feels like another extra thing I need to check and for, like part of my day to day stuff with YouTube videos and like YouTube and streams is its own stuff together. But then everything else I check like with Facebook and stuff like that, uh, messaging people, it's just, it'll be hard to fit in, not hard to fit in, it just might overload a bit, especially if it's pretty, pretty active. So, so yeah, I'm just going to save the game here at the start of the new year, actually. Uh, I might, I might try to get to streaming at another time. Although, like, um, I don't know if I can go back to streaming in the mornings or, yeah, let me know what's the best times to stream for you guys or it could change. You could have, you could have free time. So, Discord is good to schedule the live streams. Yeah. Uh, I just like to think I can make a video and people, uh, yeah, when I'm streaming and people will see it, like, and post out on Twitter. I don't know. Yeah. I like at the moment, I'm feeling like, do I want to end the stream yet or not? <laughs> I'm thinking. I'm thinking, oh man. I don't think I can do 24 hours. My eyes get really tired. I'm, I'm like, I can't even stay. I, forget about stream. I can't stay up all night. <laughs> it's something I can't, maybe it's a sign of me getting old, like, that's something I just can't do anymore at all, looks so bad, <laughs> like I said, that's why I said 12 hours, 12 hours is an option, whatever I said from that, um, yeah, 12 hours is an option, 24, and 12 hours at a good time for me. Like, not... Yeah, through the night. I'll have to, like, maybe sleep during the day. To do it at a suitable... Well, hey, for streaming, I thought this is a suitable time. Right now. <laughs> uh, who's that? Jack Clark. Take a look. Yeah, I remember searching him at some point. Familiar name. Get a scout report. Oh, boy. Ooh. Huh. But yeah, guys, I'm getting super tired now. Um, hopefully, I can see... You probably want, how am I going to do a 24 hour stream? <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> Not possible for me. That's, uh, those really long streams are going to be hard. I'd love to try and do them for you guys, but, but yeah, I'll just leave it at, as that. It's hard. I'm still trying to figure out what's the best. Again, I always say what's the best time to stream. I don't know. So I tried to work my sleeping uh, schedule around this time, thinking it would be a really good time to stream, and a lot of people will be ready to watch. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because it's like in the afternoon in Europe and stuff. I thought it's 
a good time. But anyway, anyway, I'm super tired right now, so we just got to see, just adjust the budget. So yeah, that guy should sign, and a few. But yeah, we're gonna leave it there. We're gonna leave it there. I'll just save it again. I'll just save it again. Again, let me know whether it be just in the chat or anywhere else, whether it be on Twitter. If you got Twitter, message me or like send me a tweet <laughs> or anything. Whatever, whatever times you think are good for streaming. Whatever times you think we could get the streams going a bit more. Maybe for longer streams as well. But yeah, for now I'll leave it there. Uh, thank, thank you guys. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.